here for a really quick tutorial on how to save a PowerPoint presentation as a PDF. The reason you'd want to do that is so that when your parents or your administrators open up your presentation that you've spent time editing, it looks the way you intend it to look. If you left the file as a PDF, they would be able to edit it, but also unless they had the same fonts on their computer as you had when you created the PowerPoint, it won't look right to them. It will look all jarbled and mixed up and the font will be the wrong size and it won't be um, situated the way that you had wanted it to be. And of course, you don't want that. You want all your hard work to look the way you intended it to look. So to save your PowerPoint as a PDF, you'll do these simple steps. You'll go to the top of your PowerPoint presentation and you'll click on File, down here on Print. <clears throat> when this print box opens up, you'll go ahead and click down here where you see the word PDF, click on the menu, save as PDF, and then another dialog box opens up. Go ahead and name it, whatever you'd like to name it. Go ahead and save it wherever you want to save it. I always save my things on the desktop so I can find it. And then you'll just click save. This dialog box will open up. You want to select this option, use.pdf. That ensures that your PDF has the correct extension, which means that people will be able to open the file, which of course you want them to be able to open it. It converts it and saves it as a PDF. You can probably see it popped up as a PDF right here on my desktop. And um, then it's a PDF that is secure that you can go ahead and share with your parents that may not have been able to attend the event or with administrators if they require seeing it before you present the information. Okay, while I've got you here, I'm just going to show you really quickly this product that I'm posting to Teacher Pay Teacher, which is Back to School Presentation. It, this is an example of one that I've done for my own classroom. It's not completed yet because it's summertime, but I've got it going so that you can see what it might look like. Um, I plan to post more styles of this same format though. So even if you're going to purchase a different format, you can see kind of what it looks like. When I would um, show this to the parents at school, I go ahead and click slideshow, play from start. You can see it gets nice and big and bright. Um, and when you click through, there are some transitions. You can even add a photo of you or your family if you'd like to. And in this particular style, which is my, um, I'm just calling it brights, you are going to be typing in a white font on a black background, it makes it pop very nicely. Um, with all of these types of editable files, you'll be able to either delete a slide or add a slide. So for example, I have a lot of math standards that I have to cover, so I needed two slides that said math, I just duplicated the file and added my information, but I'm not going to be teaching language arts next year, so I could go ahead and delete this file, or I'm sorry, this slide, because I won't be teaching that subject this year. Um, I'm just going to move through here. You can see you can make your font bigger or smaller to fit the screen, and um, it's just a really nice, clean format for you to share information with parents, and it looks impressive, even though it didn't take you too much time to make. Um, Something you should know about these editable, um, that's a funny word by the way, <laughs> something you should know about these files if you purchase one of mine from Teacher Pay Teacher is that you will not be able to edit the slide title or this graphic down here, but all this white right here, that is all what you can edit. You can um, make it say what you want, you can change the color, you can change the size, you can change the look of the font, whatever floats your boat. Okay, so... That was just a little bit so that you can see what the product looks like all put together. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out and contact me. You can find me on Teacher Pay Teacher under the store name Kicking It With Class or on Instagram, same Kicking It With Class, and my blog, which of course is Kicking It With Class. Have a great day. Thanks.